This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at the evidence for the structure of benzene. So we'll start by looking at the calcule structure of benzene, which consists of alternating single and double carbon to carbon bonds. So here we can see two representations of the calcule structure of benzene, which are known as resonance structures. If these resonance structures represented the actual bonding in benzene, we'd expect the following. All carbon to carbon bonds in benzene would be different lengths and strengths. The enthalpy of hydrogenation of benzene would be negative 320 kilojoules per mole. Benzene would undergo addition reactions. And two possible isomers would be produced in one, two di substituted benzene compounds. So we'll start by looking at the carbon to carbon bond lengths and bond strengths, which is physical evidence. The carbon to carbon bonds in benzene are of equal length and equal strength. In this table we have the bond length and bond strength for a carbon to carbon single bond, the carbon to carbon bonds in benzene and a carbon to carbon double bond. If we look at bond length first we can see that the carbon to carbon bonds in benzene are all the same length. We can also see that they are shorter than the carbon to carbon single bond but longer than a carbon to carbon double bond. If we look at the bond strength, we can see that the strength of the carbon to carbon bonds in benzene are all the same. They are stronger than carbon to carbon single bonds, but weaker than carbon to carbon double bonds. So to summarize, the length and strength of the carbon to carbon bonds in benzene are equal. They are intermediate between a single and a double bond. Next we look at the chemical evidence for the structure of benzene. The first piece of chemical evidence is that the enthalpy of hydrogenation of benzene is less than predicted. Here we can see cyclohexene with its one carbon to carbon double bond reacting with hydrogen to form cyclohexane. The enthalpy change for this reaction is negative 120 kilojoules per mole. If benzene contained three carbon to carbon double bonds, we'd expect its enthalpy of hydrogenation value to be negative 360 kilojoules per mole. However, the enthalpy of hydrogenation value for benzene is only negative 210 kilojoules per mole. The difference in energy of negative 150 kilojoules per mole is known as the resonance energy. The next piece of chemical evidence is the type of reactions that benzene undergoes. So benzene undergoes substitution reactions rather than addition reactions. So here we can see a substitution reaction of benzene with bromine to produce bromobenzene and hydrogen bromide. The final piece of chemical evidence for the structure of benzene is that only one isomer exists for 1,2-di-substituted compounds such as 1,2-di-bromobenzene. And here we can see the structure of 1,2-dibromobenzene. If benzene contained alternating single and double bonds, we'd expect there to be two isomers produced in the reaction with bromine. However, only one isomer exists. So let's end with a summary. According to the Kekul structure, benzene contains alternating single and double carbon to carbon bonds. In the actual structure of benzene, all carbon to carbon bonds are of equal length and equal strength. According to the Kekul structure, the enthalpy of hydrogenation is negative 360 kilojoules per mole. The actual value for the enthalpy of hydrogenation is negative 210 kilojoules per mole. According to the Kekul structure with its carbon to carbon double bonds, benzene should undergo addition reactions. However, benzene undergoes substitution reactions. And the final piece of chemical evidence is that two isomers would exist for 1,2-di-substituted benzene compounds. However, as we saw previously, only one isomer exists. To end the video, we look at the actual structure of benzene. The actual structure of benzene is a planar regular hexagon with bond angles of 120 degrees. On the left, we can see one way of representing the actual structure of benzene. The bond angles around the carbon atoms are 120 degrees. And the carbon to carbon bonds are of equal length and equal strength. In the center, we have a more common way of representing benzene. 
the ring in the middle represents the delocalized electrons within the benzene molecule. So that's all from this video. Be sure to check out my other videos on my website at www.msjchem.com.